so hello guys in today's tutorial we'll be recreating this short collage animation so i've already created something similar like this before but this one is a bit different it's tilted to the side the so this the capital building is tilted to the side and there are a few added elements but this is quite simple to do so let's get into it so i've imported i downloaded this image from a stock website this is the u.s capital in washington washington dc so i've imported it into our um, photoshop to cut it out because it's kind of simple to do it here than in after effect in a minute you see that so this is what you're going to do since our image is selected and depending on the on the version of photoshop you're using you should be able to see this pop up here so i'm just going to click remove background and it just take a minute and you can see that our background is has been removed which is very easy we don't need to start drawing pens to remove this so after that we'll you notice that we lost lost some details here so we'll need to bring that back so i'm just going to go down and get my brush tool here then okay the size the size is around 13 i will just increase this a bit then use this to restore some of the parts that we removed so once you've done that the next thing i'll click on my pen tool here just like the pen tool in after effect is similar so why this is simple is that because we've removed the background okay let me just show you first so i'll just i'll cut the animation because we want this dome here or this upper part to be separate from the background here because of our animation so i'm just going to cut it through i'm just going to zoom in and do this real quick So I have successfully cut across this point to this point here and it's quite easy with this too. And there are a few things here in Photoshop. If you want to select just this, maybe you just want to select one of these, you can hold control, then you can shift this. So why this is simple is that now instead of cutting through those clouds that we removed before, now you can just simply do this. Just highlight just around our shape here we don't need to go into much detail then come back like this so now that we've cut through this what i'll do next is i'll go down to my mark to this selection here and click on max now you can see that it has removed the top part but we want this to be two so we'll duplicate this by pressing ctrl j so once you press ctrl j on the top layer since our top layer is selected here I'll go down to this icon here, like two shapes are intersecting each other, and I'll click subtract to bring in to subtract it. So, see now when I close this one, you see that it's just the main building that I show you, and right now we have both buildings. So, I'll quickly save this as a PSD file. So, just go down to save as and save as psd file so i already done this before so i've saved it already so inside of after effects i'm going to create a new composition so it's going to be 1920 by 1080 24 frames and i'm going to make this around five seconds because it's just going to be a very short animation and hit ok then i'm going to import my psd file so once you click on import make sure you import it as a composition retaining layer layer size don't merge both layers leave it like this and click ok so that both layers can still come in separately so i'm just going to drag this down here and you can see it's bigger i'm going to scale this down to fit so once you've positioned the building properly we'll just double click on this to go inside the composition then select both layers and press p to bring up the position then i'm going to go to one seconds and 22 frames forward then set keyframes for both of this position then i'm going to drag this down like this like this is okay so this is where our animation will end like this so i'll go back to the beginning of my composition to the beginning here Then make sure this top layer, this dome here, is behind it. This is our other building here. And you can see, see our max from Photoshop is still here because we imported this as because we imported it as a PSD file. 
so whichever changes we make inside of photoshop will still affect this here so make sure you remember that so next for the main building i'm going to drag this up then for the dome i'm just going to do the opposite and take it down low but the dome will the keyframe for the dome will go forward a bit it will start immediately then i'm just going to select both of them and make them easy ease and for this keyframe we don't need to make any adjustment to the graph editor it's fine with the normal ease easy ease so i'm just going to play this back and it's okay you can if you want to add more details to this you can do that i'm just going to go back out and see this so another thing i'm going to do is i'm, not, I'm just going to add the the black and white effect to this so next i'm going to import this hand cutout that i i had to take it into photoshop to cut that i have this previously before i'm going to and i'm going to link all the assets and everything i have here for free under the description you can download them for free and even the project file I'll be, you'll be able to download it for free and follow the tutorial if you want and also if you want to see more tutorials like this please like and subscribe to this tutorial to this channel and also you can support me on buy me a coffee and patreon because i'm not monetized that's the only way i can keep making videos like this so please if you want to see me make more tutorials please do support me thank you so i'm just going to go back to my main composition here then drag this in and it's very it's a very large image so i'm just going to scale this down to start with first and i think this size is okay around 12. so before we start animating anything let me just push this to the side i'm just going to create a quick shape here make sure it's white so i'm just going to draw a rectangle nothing too big like this you can give you round corners but this is it so i want to move faster so I'm just going to type in something here. Let me just type in election, elections. Then move it to the middle. Then move it to the middle of our paper. Then pre-comp the shape, which is our paper, and also the text here, like this. Then I'm going to push this paper to in between its hands. I'm just going to push this like this here. So we need to draw a marks around the hand so that so that it's like the paper is in between. So before we do that, so to do that, I'm just going to duplicate this hand, then move it above this one here. Then I'm going to go down to our marks to here, make sure this the top hand is selected. Then go into our image. Our image is a bit blurry, so let's take a time to do this. So once you draw your marks, click on this drop down here, then go down to subtract so that it subtracts the thumb from the other hands and this is what you have here and you can see it's perfect so i'm just going to select all three of these layers then pre-compose them i'll just name it hand then i'm going to bring up the position the position and the rotation i'm just going to bring this down here and luckily for us the anchor point is at the middle of us it's at the end of the hand here which is because that's the middle of the our entire composition normally if the anchor point is not here you have to drag it you have to click on on this anchor point to here I'm just going to bring this anchor point to the edge here like this then push this down a bit then rotate it and make sure you bring it below the building layer So something like this see the way it aligns perfectly with this angle of this video i didn't even plan that so next to animate this hand here so we'll go to where our animation move this layer here i'll move this layer to like the beginning so i want this animation to end around two seconds and eight frames forward or so or two seconds and nine frames forward then i'm just going to set the keyframe for both the, the rotation and the position here then go forward then go backwards i mean then bring down the rotation and also 
So the position shouldn't have come out there, but let's see how it goes. So this is okay. So I'm just going to make this easy ease. Then for this, I'm going to go into the graph editor for this one. So I want this to come in fast, then slow down towards the end. So I'll draw this like this. So remember to always save your files so that you don't lose them during the crash. So once you've done all that, I'm going to create a new solid. So it's going to be gray, light gray like this. You can change that, bring it below, something like this. Then I'm going to add an adjustment layer. Maybe the adjustment layer should be on top of everything. Then I'm going to add grain kind of noise to this. Just very small, not too much. I'm just going to make this finer. So this is cool. And the higher the number of grains you add, the more your animation will take time to, to process or render. So take note of that. I'll leave it like this. Then I'm also going to add a posturized time to, to the adjustment layer here. Then maybe bring it down to around maybe 18 or so. Nothing too crazy. I'll leave it to 17. And I noticed that the grains or the noise is too much. So I'm just going to reduce this to around 2 or 1.6. So, and you can also add, let me see if I have that here. You can also add noise to this, but this will require additional stuff. So to add this noise to the building, I'm just going to click here and make this add. Maybe drag this down below. But to make the noise only be around the building, you have to draw a max around it. So that's another way to add more detail to this. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And please don't forget to support me if you can. See you in the next tutorial.